I've missed Washington. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. Ah oh, man. That sucks. Uh, so we just drove, uh, well, five miles down this bumpy road. Um, and uh, uh, the spot we were heading for was taken. Um, so we are, um, we're gonna head out and try and find another spot. We, we know this area, like the back of our hands, so you know, there's tons of spots, uh, but we do have some friends coming up, uh, and uh, you know, we wanted to sh show them a good spot, so that was one of the good spots. All right, let's see if we can find another good one. That's right. All right, we found a spot. It's uh, gonna be tricky getting into it. Let's see if we can do it. Just barely. You're fine. Great.
Saw this glass bottle, May 1996, Atlanta, the Centennial Olympic Stadium. That's interesting. All right, so Charlie was able to get Opal inside the camp spot here, and it's getting late. We're, uh, I think, just going to get the van kind of settled and uh, probably make some dinner, and then we need to send out a message to our friends to let them know where the spot is because there was a change of plans. But... I just really want to take in how beautiful it is here. So much old growth. I've missed Washington. Um, there is something about the forests here that aren't like anywhere else that we've seen. Like, you can't see anything through there. Um, so much undergrowth and, and uh, brush, huge trees all around us, sound of the, the river, I think it's the river. Yeah, that's the North Fork of the Sauk River right there. Sauk, S-A-U-K. Um, I don't know, just, we've, we've been all over and there, there's not a lot that beats it. Some nice places out there, don't get me wrong, but Washington is where we grew up, it's where we've, you know, fell in love with camping, fell in love with outdoors, uh, fell in love with our hiking, and yeah, it's home for us. you. This has been my home all my life until we started van life. Out with the ferns and the moss. really lucky to be able to call this place home and it's just mind-blowingly beautiful and it's all I ever knew we were not well traveled before we took off we just played in these woods <laughs> it's really good to be here And it's going to be really cool to share it with some friends.
just in time. Daylight is done. <laughs> Dinner is served on fancy sandwich bread buns. I just made a mess. Well, you can barely see us. I can barely see us. Um, we just finished dinner. It's dark. You can still see a little bit of light up, up uh, above the trees, but we're between uh, a few mountains here. We're kind of in a in a, the river valley for the North Fork Sock River, and uh, probably going to go in the van and relax. My back has been acting up uh, quite a bit lately. Um, I actually had to go to the walk-in clinic and uh, get an x-ray done just to make sure that it wasn't broken or anything. And uh, I was standing very tilted barely roll over in bed again. Just kind of like what happened after uh, uh, the Grand Canyon. Um, just been relaxing in bed the past few days. Uh, but today it's getting, getting better, which is good. So I just got to take it easy and uh, Heal it up. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good night. What's this? Engine compartment disco. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our sonic rodent deterrent. Um, I'm going to have to mount it, um, battery operated ultrasonic rodent repellent. Takes three batteries, I'm going to mount it up on the engine somewhere up here, um, and it's got, so it's got lights on it. Look how dusty it is in here. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's got lights on it that flash, and, um... It does the ultrasonic sound repellent thing. We tried the uh, the pine saw spray and the cayenne pepper, and we had a chipmunk that was still getting in here. I think we're only going to turn this on at night, though, because we, we don't want to disturb critters too much with the ultrasonic sound. Um, we like critters, just not in our engine compartment. That's right. was a dark and not stormy night. It's actually quite calm. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> okay, somebody left the back of the bed up. Wait, what's he doing? I got it. Fixing the bed? Oh, did I leave the thing up? Stick in. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. Yep. Bye now. Bye now. Yeah, that bugs my ears. It's all the dust off the uh, the back of the car from closing it because we went down the mountain roads. We just had her washed, too. We had to go through twice. But now she's spraying dust everywhere. It's kind of cool looking.
Hello. Get out. Get out. It got out. Have we showed you guys this yet? Yeah, I think we have. I mean, we probably shouldn't be showing people how rich and famous we are, but, you know. Pollen! <laughs> this is every coin we found on the ground during our adventures. Well, we only started doing this, like... I'm not going to shine that light in your eyes. Thanks. Uh, well, we only we only started doing this um, probably six months ago. Stop squishing bugs on the headliner. It's hard not to. I just washed all the guts off of there. I know. We haven't found any amazing coins yet, but we've found a lot of them. This is uh, not an actual coin coin. I think this is like uh, somebody's sobriety coin. It's just got an angel on both sides. So, yeah. Someday we will fill this entire thing. Yeah. All the way down to the DVD player. And then we gotta work <laughs> on the inside. Yep. The DVD player, yes. Okay, that's the DVD player. That's my phone. <laughs> it's about the same size as my phone. So we we don't use it. I, we don't even have it hooked up since I replaced the stereo um, with our touchscreen stereo. Cause we fancy. So fancy. So fancy. We slept in. Yes, we did. Gosh, it's beautiful out there. We'll start our day. It's a little smoky this morning from the wildfires, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure they're on the uh, east side of the mountains and we're on the west side. Just getting the smoke, because that's usually how it goes. But uh, definitely smell the smoke in the air.
Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. Even though we slept in a little bit. It's <laughs> okay. We got to do that every now and then. That's right. We stayed up uh, watching uh, Alone. We're on season seven right now. And, uh, yeah, it was good. Definitely won. Uh, spoiler alert, shoot, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Even though it happened like three years ago, so if you haven't seen it now, there's spoilers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't know what season you're talking about. I just said seven. Oh. <laughs> oh, she gave it away. All right, I'm going to delete that might, part. They might think that somebody else is, uh, Well. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious <laughs> when it gets down to the last couple episodes. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys think that you could survive alone in the wilderness with, like, ten items? If Google was one of them. <laughs> Seriously, I think I would pick Google yeah. as an item if Google was an option. It wasn't one of the options, but yeah. yeah. But if, if it was on that show, I mean, You could shoot. just figure out anything. Oh, you, YouTube? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can do anything. Well, YouTube's part of Google, so technically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, you, if you had the internet, mm -hmm. it would be a lot easier to, like, figure out what kind of berries these are and, and what kind of, uh, you know, plants you can eat. Yeah. How to skin a muskox or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I would definitely have an axe, a good knife. A saw. Um, a three. Yeah. A tarp. Maybe two tarps because tarps burn holes in them. Like, I bet that's a real issue. I'm going to go gather some firewood. And maybe I'll do something about my hair. Why do I have a southern drawl all of a sudden? That's weird. It's my third eye. Okay, so this is the maiden voyage of the cheapo chairs that we purchased to replace our expensive ones that broke right away. And uh, we're just going to kind of see how long a cheap chair lasts us with our regular abuse we give things. Alright, time to go down to the creek and do something about my hair now that we collected firewood. Let's go check out the creek.
we're just kind of chillaxing, waiting for Anna and Max to get here. Um, they're, it's going to be dark by the time they get here. They're coming from Canada. Um, and it's going to be probably a four-hour drive for them. Um, so hopefully they find us okay. And I should probably put a sign up or something at the beginning of our driveway here. So they know it's us when they roll up because we're kind of tucked back in the spot but that's all that's really happening today so um might not see it till Anna and Max get here oh Charlie went out to he took the, our satellite communicator which uh, we use when we're out of cell range um not only for emergencies we've never had to use it for an emergency but peace of mind that it's there but it's come in really handy for these instances where we are out of cell range and um, we need to uh, communicate with a friend that's coming to meet us. Uh, we use this uh, to meet up with Camp Lapidary and now we're using it here with Miles and my boots. Uh, so it's working out great. Um, Charlie just realized it didn't update messages for the last hour or so so he went down to the beach um where there's kind of open area in the trees to see if he can get a good connection just in case they did message um but i'm pretty confident with the directions we gave them and uh the gps marker so hopefully they don't have a problem Any messages? No messages. Okay. I'm wondering if uh, Garmin satellites are busy this weekend. Because mm. a lot of people will be out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Still kind of early, though. They're probably just getting off work. Yeah. So Anna and Max uh, sent us a message on our satellite communicator, which is that thing there. And uh, they left Canada around 7.30 p.m., and it looks like they're going to get here somewhere close to midnight. Um, we're going to wait up and see if we can greet them. Hello. You guys made it! What's going? <laughs> What's up, guys? Do you know what you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are real people! <laughs> Yeah, okay. so there's there's a huge yeah, area of little tour. tour. <laughs> there's a huge area over here. Hi, I'm Liz. Um, hi, I'm Charlie. It's Anna. <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> Max. Max forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on a hike this morning. Uh, it's really beautiful and we can't wait to take you guys along. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.